Welcome to the full review on the Samsung Eternity for AT&T. I'm Bad Matt 2 x and this is the Game Raiders. Let's turn this sucker on. <clears throat> My first initial thoughts was, wow, it's a beautiful device. I enjoy every minute of it. <clears throat> and it is. I haven't had any significant problems to set. You have, of course, Samsung's TouchWiz interface on the side. Oopsies. Touch with interface on the side. You can pull stuff out to the home screen, pull it back in. <clears throat> There's a lot, and uh, Samsung says they're gonna be releasing more in the near future. The main menu is pretty simple. You have address book, messaging, yellow pages, AT&T music, the mobile TV, CV, media net. Media Mail, GPS, My Stuff, Tools, and Settings. So let's first go into Address Book. Address Book, you got your basic contact, groups, favorites, add a new contact, service number, the settings, and the SIM management. I'm not going to get in depth into that. Messaging, you have new message, inbox, sent, outbox, drafts, IM, which supports three different messengers. Mobile email and a new account which uh, <clears throat> supports Yahoo Mail, AOL, AIM, Windows Live Hotmail, AT&T Yahoo, Bell South, and others, which are Comcast, E-Link, Juno, Media Spring, and Net Zero. They do not support Gmail, which is a pretty drag, but not that bad. I said you want to exit. Then you have yellow pages, which I really don't use that much. I haven't used it at all, so it's your basic yellow pages. AT&T Music has your music player, shop for music, music ID, which is really great. I tried it out, works perfectly. XM Radio, music videos, Pandora, community, and music applications. Let's go into the music player, all my music, and let's put a song on. Great speakers, max out volume, and you can also minimize and then go up to your desktop or your front screen and you have the player right there. You pause, go to the next one. Have all your songs right there in the home screen. So let me pause that, toss that back inside, pull back up the main menu. Then you have mobile TV, which I do not have service right now. It's going to load it up and then you're going to have a channel listing, kind of like the view, except without the antenna. <clears throat> Say alert, cannot find service. Then you have CV video, which is like singular video, which is awesome. It's kind of like pre recorded television. So if you go to like comedycentral.com and what you'll find on the website is basically what you'll find here too. You have watch videos, you have categories, you have most viewed, best, entertainment, music, sports, news, weather, kids cartoon, HBO mobile. You click into it, takes you to a deeper search, it's going to entertainment. Then I'll give you channel by channel. And you have all the channels. So that's basically, it's like a mobile TV but previously recorded and it's in like parts. Kind of like a TV show on the internet. Just like you watch it on the actual website. Okay, let's go to MediaNet, which is the actual browser. Full HTML. Let's pull up, I don't know, YouTube. Let's do a one that a lot of people use my Facebook. Great keyboard. Whoopsies. Facebook. Um, there we go, facebook.com, uh, no Wi-Fi, it does have 3G, which is pretty fast, and Bluetooth, and it does have a micro SD slot, right now I'm only using a 1 gigabyte, okay here it takes you to the mobile version, and I am logged into mine, to go to the full, full screen, 
one. I'll go to the full one just to show you full HTML browsing. <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit longer, but it will load the full HTML browser. Okay, here it's going to tell me to sign up. I already have an account, but great scrolling. It's got awesome scrolling. I enjoy the scrolling. Zoom out with the rocker keys. And then I'll have the full, a little better view for you to see. Great browser for a feature phone. It's a great browser. I really enjoyed it. So let's pop out of the browser and go to Media Mall. Basically, it's a mall for media. You can buy <clears throat> stuff from there, like music, a whole bunch of other stuff. Do not really want to go in depth on that. You can buy games, apps, videos, graphic themes. Let me pop out of that. Yes, exit. GPS, it's turn by turn navigation. AT&T, great GPS. Don't want to really do that right now. Stuff you have audio, games, and apps, pictures, videos, tools, everything basically you need. <clears throat> tools are camera, they have audio recording, alarm, calendar, recent calls, task memo, calculator, converter, which is pretty good, world clock, timer, and stopwatch. I really, besides the camera and maybe some memos and tasks, I really, in the calculator, but that's about it. I really don't use everything else. Settings, you have your sound, display, time, phone calls, connectivity applications you can reset the whole system everything's basically right here you can do everything system updates it's all really simple <clears throat> so let me get onto the profile of the phone let me show you the actual keyboard keyboard you have full QWERTY keyboard I'll do the The reason, by the way, the reason I'm having complications here is because I'm doing it over the camera. It's over the lazy sheep dog. And the reason I left that question mark there is so I can show you that you can tap to get back where you want to go. It's not as easy as the iPhone tapping, of course, but you can delete and then space again and have the full sentence perfectly. So let me okay that. Get rid of that. No, do not save the draft. <clears throat> the dial pad. Humongous dial pad. Really good. I really like it. It's got a haptic feedback to it. So it's a great phone overall. Let me show you the profile of the phone. 3.2, I think the screen is. It's got a 3 megapixel camera. Little plastic on the back. Hold switch. Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack I think that's what it is I like this little menu quick menu system right here because this is like a button you click pops up a little quick menu for your calls music player main menu media net messages and back then you have your camera which is video um, not full 640 by 480 VGA it has 320 by 240 great camera though for uh, taking pictures not a standalone camera though, but still pretty good. Nope, nothing on the bottom. By the way, when you get messages on this phone, you get to choose the color that lights up here. It's got blue, pink, red, green, none, I think, also. And I think there's a white. Not so sure about that one. I have on a standard blue. Your connect cable. And finally, your rocker switch. Right here. This is a great device. I enjoy it a lot. Um, Thanks for watching my full hands-on review, and there will be way more unboxings and reviews for the Game Raiders. This is Bad Matt 2X signing out. Peace out.